I'm Adam Hooks, the curator of the books that made Shakespeare. And I'm holding my favorite book in this exhibition, a copy of William London's A Catalog of the Most Vendable Books in England. The bookseller William London included Master Shakespeare's Plays, one of the folio collections, along with copies of King Lear and Richard II in his catalog of vendable books. A vendable book is one that is easily sold. However, London listed the plays in the section of romances, poems, and plays, which, in a lengthy introduction, he derides as the least useful of any books. His catalog thus demonstrates the conflicted status of printed plays. London was attempting to reverse the meaning of vendable. He prized ethical and not economic profit. He did so by utilizing the marketing strategies of the book trade, in order to accomplish his goal of making knowledge more accessible, he embraced the world of commerce. Yet in doing so, he helped to consolidate the very genres he criticized. William London did not think Shakespeare's plays were great books, but he did recognize that they were good business. This copy of the book was owned by Matthew Holford, who inscribed his name, along with the date, 1684, and what appears to be the price, two shillings.